What's up, guys? Will Scully here with AudioSavings.com. We're here at NAMM 2016. It's been fun. It's been awesome. And I uh, ran across Justin with Imperial Labs, a really great booth. I wanted you to, uh, your distressors, you see them in every studio. You always see them in pairs. Tell us a little bit about the functionality of it and what it, it is actually doing uh, to, your, uh, to, to the audio uh, signal that you put through it. Sure, well, I mean, basically, one of the major reasons why you're seeing these things everywhere is because they're like a Swiss army knife of compressors. They cover everything and anything that you would use um, compression for. I mean, I've seen them in front of house racks. I've seen them uh, for mixing, for, ma uh, for tracking. Um, they're amazing on vocals. They're amazing on anything from guitars, electric or acoustic. Um, I love using them on overheads. You can get a real uh, like Led Zeppelin-y kind of sound when you throw it in like the nuke ratio, which is one of my favorites. It's a 40 to one ratio. It's like a limiter. Yeah. Um, and it's just, there's so much variety to it. You know, it really can go with a lot of different things. And I think that's one of the reasons why you see it everywhere. Yeah, definitely, man. I, and I've seen them in, in live racks, too. They sound great on vocals as well. It's, it's, it take any signal you put through there, and it's just going to kind of crunch it in a beautiful way. But, you know, you can also destroy it if you'd like, you know. Oh, but man. you can, especially when you're talking 40 to 1, you know, ratio yeah. on the nuke, you know, you can <laughs> do some really gnarly stuff to some drums or vocals. So, um, yeah, very cool. And then uh, just going across, as far as the ratios go, what uh, we've got a, a 2 to 1, 3, 4, 6, 10 to 1, and then 20 to 1, and then nuke, as uh, as Justin said, was uh, was 40 to 1. And um, and then going across, you just, you've just you got your input, your attack and release on your compressor, and then your output. But, you know, ultimately, like you're like they're already doing here, you can really drive a signal into it, go a little easier on the out, but get as much out of that distressor uh, as, as, you would, uh, as you would like. Who, um, you know, I was going to say, well, I was actually going to say, who do you know that runs these in their studio? But I think that list would just go on and on and on. <laughs> you, yeah, you got all day to yeah, hang yeah. out and we can got, talk about it. <laughs> the rest of the afternoon. So, guys, uh, 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 take it from Justin. These are great, uh, great compressors, great distressors to have in your studio. And thanks for hanging out with us today at NAMM 2014. I'm Will Scully with Audio Savings.